back out on the river chasing cod. Things have cooled down significantly since the last time I chased cod. So I'm going to be sticking with big lures and probably big surface lures for the majority of the time here. Just looking for those bigger bites. The smaller fish are probably going to be fairly shut down by now. Anyway, I'm going to get stuck into things. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and let's go. Big fish, big fish. Oh, I'm rubbing, I'm rubbing. Oh, it's rubbing. There we go, it's not rubbing, it's not rubbing. It's rubbing again. No! There we go. No! Slots the giant. That fish had actually slightly opened up that front treble there. I'd say it was when it was pinned in the timber and it thrashed a bit and opened it. So I've just changed it over here to a new one. No. Oh, that's me bib snapped. Dopey cast.
There we go. That's a proper fish. He was wrapped up in my line, something chronic there. Oh, Jesus. Oh, he's just pinned by one hook. I might not land him here. I've only got lip grips. Yeah, there we go. No! I've made it back to the campsite now after the full day's fishing. Things didn't quite go to plan for me there. Managed to put the hooks into two of them and drop both of them in different ways. Uh, that first one was a really nice fish that stung a lot. But I've got the morning tomorrow, so going to hit the swag, get up bright and early and get out there and try and make it happen again tomorrow. <laughs> That finishes up this one here. There's an absolutely massive day and a half on the water. Spent the whole time casting around big surface lures and it did start to take its toll a little towards the end. I didn't manage to convert the two bites I got, which I'm pretty dirty about, but it was a really nice time on the water and if I'd made them stick, it would have been an absolutely cracking trip. All right, make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you next time.